talk about a really interesting subject. You know, every single day, our star and countless stars throughout the universe are broadcasting galactic cosmic rays, solar radiation, UV radiation, and it damages the DNA in our bodies. Why aren't we just riddled with cancer? Well, that's because, as I talk about in the Phoenix Protocol, we have this process called the base excision repair process. And when you get radiation damage, you have a sensor system of molecules that find the damage. The, uh, this system of enzymes comes in, cuts out whole sections, cuts out double strands, single strands, puts brand new code in, exactly what you need, repairs the damage so you don't have cancer. We've seen cancer rates increase recently. I'll get to that in a minute. Now what's interesting is after the Chernobyl accident, um, they used dry fasting on a lot of the people that were suffering from radiation poisoning. And the reason is, um, the doctor called Nikolaev did some experiments on white rats. They took a population of white rats and 25% of them they, uh, they didn't treat and 25% they treated pre-fast, 25% they treated during fast, and 25% they treated after the fast, in the recovery period. They injected them with a, with a chemical that caused leukemia, which is of course a bad cancer causing uh, cancer. What happened was, the population that didn't receive any dry fasting, they all died. The population that got a treatment before the fast, 50% of them survived. The population that had it delivered during the fast, 60% survived. But the population that got it during the post-fast, during recovery, all of them survived. You know, the Japanese and Americans have been trying to figure out radiation poisoning cures and stuff for years. Nothing works. They reproduced the dry fasting effects in America, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago, and 70 75% survived after, after the dry fast was over during the recovery period. Well, I explained why that happens, but we've also seen a huge increase in cancer in our population these days. That's one of the problems we face today, except for dry fasting. So if uh, you're in that position, I would suggest a dry fast, because they find that a five to seven day dry fast will clear out your body of all the radiation damage. Why? Because dry fasting selectively reduces and eliminates cells that are broken and damaged. If they can't provide health and energy to the body, they're taken away. They're turned into proteins and water and all that kind of stuff you need during the dry fast. So dry fasting once again to the rescue, and once again during this very, very dangerous time we live in. You know, I, the more I learn about dry fasting, the more I study and research dry fasting, I just wonder what it can't do. I mean, it can't build bone and muscle. That's why I wrote Neogenesis. And, uh, but it can do damn well everything else. So if you really want to stay healthy, it's good to do a dry fast, five to seven day, at least once a year. And uh, the rest of the year, practice what's going on in Neogenesis with the proper eating, proper exercise, and your mental health, what you think about. And that uh, you can get that negativity out of your life. Be selective, it's your life. It should be the most important thing to you is your life. That's why I've introduced dry fasting, Neogenesis, how to think about the world, how to think about this universe, how to imagine things into being. It really is a matter of mental willpower. I know you can do it. People tell me how they've changed all through my, uh, my series of videos and stuff and how it's helped them achieve a kind of inner peace by being able to realize that they're in control of things. They don't have to rely on anybody else to have happiness. And that's good. It's so my message today is dry fasting in this very dangerous time uh, as a prophylactic, just to make sure that if anything has happened, you can fix it. If anything's going on before it turns into a problem, you can fix it. And that's where this one's going, you know, dry fasting. I think it's the best thing ever. I'll talk to you soon.